morning and it is it's about quarter to nine on a Sunday morning on a wet grey Sunday morning a bit damp and all the little becks and rivers are a bit high today but I've just paid signed up for my geocaching premium membership and there's one near me that I've been looking at for a while on there and thinking if I had the membership I could go and do that so considering I've just signed up today I'm gonna to go and do it I'm rich, I really enjoy geocaching because it's the whole puzzle and searching, hunting aspects. And with the premium membership, a lot more of the puzzle type caches open up, and I'll have a look at those when I've got a bit more time. But yeah, I just think it's a really good way of getting a bit of walking exercise in as well. So off we go, let's go looking. Now, this one that I'm going to, I'm walking down Tang Hall Lane in York. And the, one of the reasons why I'm doing this early, and especially on a Sunday, is because there won't be that many people around. And this one is on a bit of a beaten track, but it's also not that far from where I live. And during this time of lockdown, we kind of need a few fun things to do, just to keep our brains active and to keep ourselves physically active because it's good for your mental health but at the time I'm recording this it's my dad's funeral in a couple of days and I have been having considerably more panic attacks in my sleep especially since he passed so I'm looking after my mental health right so you can see where we're going for some reason again the arrow on the app is pointing in the wrong direction to the direction I'm traveling in but that's more to do with the phone GPS two bridges over Osbaldwick Beck I don't know whether you can see that behind me down there but that's the cycle path underneath this bridge there's a lot of water on that cycle path so over there that's Hull Road Park and where we're actually going is more or less opposite here I'll show you on the app it's actually saying I'm very close let me just zoom in there we go if I zoom in the house on the app is there the last house and it's through here it's a bit mucky as you can see and this is called Osbaldwick Beck Okay, so these are the two bridges over Osbaldwick Beck. Just had a look around and I, I have found the cache. And I'm actually stood on the other bridge. And at first, I was having a look in all these bits of pipe work. I was wondering if it was one that was stuffed into a bit of pipe, like here. You know, I did wonder if it had been stuffed into some of these broken edges of pipework and I had a look along here and I couldn't see it and I wondered if it had been shoved, if, if it was one of those end ones that get pushed into the end of things and I thought, oh god, this is going to be a real tricky one because everywhere is just wet and mucky 
but then I spotted it and it's actually down there and the only reason you might be able to see it is because I have literally just teased it out a little bit can you see it? oh look it's there Oops, the top's come off. Now unfortunately this is one of those caches where there maybe has been uh, an actual paper log at some point but there's nothing here to sign. So I shall stick it back in the hole and let the cache owner know that this it needs a bit of remedial work guess these trousers are going in the wash later today <laughs> so yeah so that's that one found if you've liked this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll let you know when I'm doing some more geocaches or kayaking or camping or other fun stuff right I'll see you soon